Welcome to the Cruise Retreat Podcast. Hi, I'm Rita Perez, and I'm a travel advisor specializing in, you guessed it, cruise ship retreats. This podcast is for service-based entrepreneurs and corporate decision makers to learn more about staying everyone's favorite company with a cruise ship retreat. Ready to increase your client or employee retention? Listen in on this week's show. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the podcast. So nice to have you here again for another week. I wanted to do, you know, always something a little bit different and share with you some of the itineraries that are available for booking for people who are residents of North America. Now, I know a couple weeks ago I did something similar But man, the cruise lines have certainly gotten busy and there are more cruises available to us from other countries. And that is so super exciting, especially after still being offline here in the States. It's nice to know that we finally have some options to go to. Some actually, I will correct myself, some of which are here in the United States because they sail on premium slash luxury river cruise lines. And so you're going to be sailing some of the wondrous rivers of the United States. Let's go ahead, since we're already starting to talk about that, let's start talking about the American Duchess, which is one of the cruise ships that belongs to American Queen Steamboat Company. Beautiful line of river cruises that sails through all sorts of rivers around the United States. So let's take a look at some of the itineraries because you can start sailing as soon as, oh my gosh, next month with them. The nice thing about river cruise ships is that they are smaller already in size because obviously you can't put that much tonnage as what you'll get on an ocean cruise on a river ship. So they're smaller in size, but then just imagine just it's going to be probably half. That's kind of the average that we have been hearing that when the cruise lines start sailing, it's going to be about half of the passengers that we're normally used to sailing, which is going to be a dream. I cannot wait. So let me pull up some itineraries here. Oh, here's a super exciting one. Okay, this one sails on the American Duchess. It is called the American Music Festival, and it sails out of Louisville, Kentucky. Ugh, this is so incredible because you will be going to Louisville, Brandenburg, Owensboro. Oh, I hope I said that right. <laughs> Still in Kentucky, Henderson, Paducah, Dover, Tennessee, Clarksville. Lots of classic country music ports. Depending on the cruise that you are also sailing, you might get special onboard performances by Lee Greenwood. If you don't know who Lee Greenwood is, he is the songwriter behind God Bless the USA. And there's also some sneak other performances that might be showing up. But yeah, this itinerary is all about that classic country music. So those are what the stops are going to be along the way. So if you do not want to leave the States just yet, but you still want to get out and start exploring, this is a really great itinerary available to you. Likewise, there's a Soul of the South itinerary with very similar stops. And then there is the Ohio River Exploration, which is a little bit slightly more Midwest and includes states like Indiana and Ohio, West Virginia, and ends in Pennsylvania. Those are a few of the itineraries that are available for American Queen Steamboat Company. Now we're going to go ahead and head back to some more luxury sailing options, but on the oceans, and that's with Atlas Ocean Voyages. And the really nice thing about Atlas Ocean Voyages is that they are actually a newer cruise line. So they were one of the cruise lines that was supposed to restart sailing this summer. And 
of course, you already know what happened there. <laughs> so the World Navigator is going to be doing Greek Isle Cruises. So if you have not heard at all from my previous broadcast of the different kinds of cruises that are going to be sailing, Greece is like one of the places to be. They, are, they were one of the first to go ahead and open their doors. So you're going to see a lot of itineraries that include Greece, Cyprus, Istanbul, because they were like, hey, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go sailing. So this one with Atlas Ocean Voyages does sail out of Istanbul, and it travels to different areas in Turkey, cruising the Mediterranean Sea, and you do get some of the Greek islands as well. So things like Mykonos, Athens, Santorini, just beautiful, beautiful. I'm imagining already the white buildings with the blue tops. The windmills, just gorgeous. That beautiful crystal blue water that is in the Greek Isles. So one of the things that is really, some of the things that are really nice about Atlas Ocean Voyages, because it is a luxury line, there are so many more inclusions that you're going to be able to receive compared to many of the other cruise, and cruise lines that I might be talking about later on today. These inclusions include <laughs> round trip airfare, complimentary excursions, unlimited specialty beverages. You can indulge in romantic bath amenities and standard wireless internet, which is so, so awesome. Prepaid gratuities as well. Those are just some of the inclusions that you're going to get as well as a phenomenal onboard experience. So that is Atlas Ocean Voyages. Next, we're going to head over to some of the itineraries that we have talked about, which is Royal Caribbean. They have three awesome itineraries going out of Round Trip Bermuda. There's Round Trip Bahamas, and then there's Round Trip Cyprus. And the Round Trip Cyprus is the one that's going to be doing those awesome Mediterranean cruises to the Greek Isles. Then you have Round Trip Nassau that does make some stops, including Perfect Day at Coco Cay, as well as Cozumel. So that is going to be a really nice Caribbean itinerary. And then you have Bermuda. So if, again, you're still wanting to explore something a little bit different, but still get out there, Bermuda is a really, really nice option. You're going to be overnighting in Bermuda a couple days before heading down to the Bahamas. These are seven night itineraries. I believe the one, the Mediterraneans, might be either a little bit longer or a little bit shorter, depending on which ones you're sailing. Very similarly, Celebrity. So Celebrity and Royal Caribbean are actually part of the same family. Royal Caribbean is probably what you're more familiar with. It's like your starter cruise is, is how I would call it. And then when you're ready to do a step above and do a little bit more all-inclusivity, Celebrity is going to be that awesome brand for you. So we've already talked about they are doing a round-trip St. Martin itinerary. And they're actually doing two separate itineraries to get just a little difference in ports. Uh, so if you are someone who likes to do back-to-back -back cruises, so you want to do one week on one itinerary and the next week on another itinerary, that is going to be a super fun option. Now, what is really exciting to many of us is that they are taking their Celebrity Apex. It is their newest ship. It has not had any sailing passengers on it yet. Sailing, by sailing passengers, I do mean um, sailing guests. There are people, of course, the crew members have been sailing on the ship. The guests have not been sailing on the ship. So you will be one of the first sailing from Athens on the Celebrity Apex for some awesome Mediterranean cruises. So really, really great experience there. Your employees or clients mean the world to you. So why don't you show them the world and a thing or two? If you're ready to take your cruise retreat idea to a working plan, you need the Cruise Retreat Toolkit. Filled with calculators, templates, 
timelines, and more, the toolkit will get you five steps closer to your cruise ship retreat, and as a result of the retreat, more dedicated and motivated employees or clients. Grab it now at cruiseretreattoolkit.com and save $20 with the code PODCAST. Now we're going to head over to Norwegian Cruise Line, who has all, I mean, everybody is just putting out fantastic itineraries. Like you can't, there really is something for everyone. So if you're trying to look for a more tailored experience, please go ahead and reach out to me. Let's do a brainstorming chat so that we can figure out which one of these itineraries is really your speed. So Norwegian has three ships out. The Jade is going to be sailing from Athens. The Joy is sailing from Montego Bay, and that is really exciting to me. I was actually supposed to be sailing the Joy later this year, and it did get redeployed, which means the itinerary that I was going to sail is no longer sailing now. It's a sad face, but it is going to be doing some awesome itinerary sailing from Montego Bay. And right now that is the only one that I see that is sailing from Jamaica. And lastly, they have the gem that is sailing from La Romana. Another great itinerary. So please, and each of these ships has its own personality. So the Joy is going to be one of those Breakaway Plus editions. And that is one of the ships that actually has the racetrack on board board. If you're looking for that kind of unique experience where you're having a large ship experience that has tons of amenities on board, the Norwegian Joy is going to be for you. Moving on again, then we have Crystal Cruises. Crystal Cruises actually was one of the first to announce their round trip Bahama sailings. One of the great things about these itineraries that really sets it apart from the others is that Crystal, because they are a luxury line, luxury cruise lines tend to have smaller ships, which means that they're able to get into smaller ports that the larger ships aren't able to get into. And that is what this Crystal Bahamas itinerary is full of. Lots of ports that typically are only accessible when people do like flying around, like doing a little bit of fly hopping around the Bahamas. But now they are open to cruisers. Additionally, and I talk about this in my weekly email today, so if you are not on the email list, you can catch this on my blog. They have a super fantastic itinerary, an expedition cruise that sails out of Iceland. They're doing only five sailings this summer, 10 nights each. Awesome, awesome ports in there. I was actually supposed to go to some of these ports last year, but you know, COVID happened. <laughs> so ports include Akureyri, which we were supposed to do some whale watching at, Reykjavik, which we were supposed to do like this awesome tour around the south coast. It included like the black sand beaches, beautiful waterfalls, and just really digging into that natural beauty that Iceland really is. And then the next day of being in Reykjavik, we were supposed to be going to the famed Blue Lagoon. And there's, there's just so many options to do, especially if you are very into nature and wanting to connect with nature. Because there's different hikes that you can go ahead on and do hot springs so it's not such a traditional setting like the Blue Lagoon. Uh, I, could, I could just gush on this so much. So we talked about Akureyri, Reykjavik. Oh, and another port that like really stood out to me was Husavik. And Husavik really stood out to me because I am obsessed with the Eurovision movie on Netflix, The Fire Saga Story, because it is based in Husavik. <laughs> and so I just think it would be a lot of fun to head over to that port. It is a fishing port and just really, I mean, most of these ports, I, Iceland is an island in the north. And so you're going to get a lot of these fishing ports, being able to see the little puffins and whale watching. So Husavik is no exception to that as well. So that is 
crystal cruise lines. Then we have Silver Sea and Seaborn. These are luxury lines also doing Greece itineraries. Like Greece is going to be on fire, not literal fire, but they are going to be busy, man. So, and that's what I like about, there's just so many different options that are available to you. So if you want a luxury, uh, I, if you want a luxury option, if you want a contemporary option, if you want a little bit of a premium option, there are so many ships that are out there. You can get the itinerary that you like. Just let me know and we can work on something for you. So those are starting June and July. And that's most of the sailings. They are starting in this summer. The earliest ones would be the American Queen Steamboat Company, those American River Cruises that we have sailing here in the States. Last but not least, we have the beautiful Scarlet Lady on Virgin Voyages, which that is going to start now in September. I cannot wait to sail. I am actually set up. This is, I haven't like officially announced this, so spoiler alert to everybody. I am actually going to be sailing on the Scarlet Lady this December on their Dominican Days itinerary. And that stops obviously in the Dominican Republic. And then they also have a stop at their private area in Bimini, Bahamas. And I cannot wait. So yes, I am booked on that cruise. It is the week before Christmas. It's a five day itinerary. Scarlet Lady is just so gorgeous. All the pictures. They are they were also supposed to launch their cruise line last year and COVID had other plans. This is going to be a really nice cruise line for those of you who do not have kiddos or don't want to travel with your kiddos because it is 18 plus only. Now, going off of that also, I'm thinking about there is vaccine requirements for all of these ships. Some require just 18 plus, some require everyone. So go ahead. If you feel comfortable going to get the vaccine, make sure that you get it. You do need to have the vaccine. The second dose, if you're doing one of the second doses, has to be administered no less than two weeks prior to sailing because they want to make sure that you are absolutely good to go. So whether you're doing the single shot or the second dose of a double shot, that needs to be done so that you have at least two weeks in between that shot and sailing on the ship. So that is a very brief overview of all the different options that are available this summer to you. Again, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. I would love to pair a beautiful, one of these beautiful itineraries with what you're needing to have this summer, especially getting away for the first time, quite possibly in over a year, thanks to COVID. All right, that is it for me. I hope you have geeked out a little bit with me and I will see you guys here next week. Thank you for joining me on the Cruise Retreat Podcast. Please subscribe and leave the show a rating on your favorite podcast platform. And don't forget to take a look at the show notes for important information and links. See you next week.